What's up, y'all? It's your boy Brent back here with another figurine review. This time, I'm going to be reviewing the pop-up parade figurine of Azuki from the visual novel Nekopara. Last time, I reviewed Maple from Nekopara, and today, I want to review Azuki since my figurine just arrived a few days back, and I have some things I want to say about it. So, if you are planning to buy it, this is the video for you. I'll be talking about everything from the ins and outs and all that. So, yeah. So starting from the head here, we can see her re her eyes are really good actually, glossy and all that, sparkling from all the joy. Also see her in her maid uniform, she's great waving her hand like that to say hi. Looking at the bird's eye view, it looks pretty good from the top, cute cat ears as well. Um, she also has a cute golden bell, you know, to symbolize that she is a trained cat. The few, but play the visual novel, you know what's for. Uniform looks cute as well, looks pretty good, the painting is alright. There are little scuffs on the bow but you know, it's not really noticeable. Yep, the skirt looks good too and we gotta check the most important part, the panties are good too. Alright, now let's move on to her legs. Her legs are pretty good, they're pretty slim and just like the maple figurine, her shoes or her heels I mean are very nice. I really like the paint job on this. Very glossy, no scuffing at all and if there is, probably very unnoticeable. There's also a little gap between the foot and the heel which really adds emphasis onto the part that she's just wearing a shoe and I really like that attention to detail. So yeah, I have nothing to complain about here. Going to the back of her head, we can see the back of her hair. There's these little things that are tied I don't really know. Looking at the bird's eye view, there's a little noticeable line now. Uh, it's not supremely noticeable and someone can just say that's part of the hair so it's not really bad. Yeah, so the hair is not that detailed on the back, it's alright. Uh, you can see the ribbon that ties her apron together, the string I mean, her tail's good as well. And you know, we have to check the pants as well. The pants are looking good, white on the back. Didn't really know that's what's on the back. Anyway, back to the legs, slim as well. And again, her shoes, her heels are really good, glossy. There's no paint scuffing here, so I can see. And like I said earlier, if there is, it's kind of not noticeable. So yeah, the shoes are really good and similar to the front, I have nothing to say. So now let's go into the actual review. So for this review, there are some things about this figurine that I do not like. One example is when it comes to the skirt, the skirt wobbles around. You can see me, You can. it's not very noticeable, or I don't know if it's noticeable on camera, but you can see the skirt is like loose. So it's like it's not part of the actual uh, dress. And it kind of gets annoying uh, if you are touching it because you're like, oh, this kind of looks poorly made. But you don't always touch it. It's not really a big problem. And going to the side, holy shit, this looks horrible. Like, uh, the Corona and the Okayu one had its problems. But this, you could really, really tell that it's just stuck together. They didn't even try to blend it into the hair. And looks, I know, like I said, I know. And you could even see some gloss from the glue. And again, I know this is how figurines are made, but i rather they just made it not so noticeable. Because, you know, when you look at it from the side, you're like, Jesus. Uh, other than that, from the front and the back, I have no, you can't see anything. The top, it's not that noticeable, but on the side, it looks really bad. Oh, crap, man. And honestly, that's all my, that's my only real problem with it. And now that's all said and done, what are my thoughts on the figurine? Well, my final thoughts on the figurine is it's a pretty okay figurine. I, like I said, as long as you don't touch it a lot or inspect it, you know, you won't really notice the problem with the skirt. And uh, if you just keep it on your shelf and to just look at it, which I'm pretty sure 90% of you will do, you won't notice the side of the hair. But still gotta call out problems for what they are. So I'd give this figurine a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good figurine, still pretty decent just to have on your shelf. There are some problems I don't like about it, so I bumped it down to a 7, but if, you're just, if you don't really care about quality and you just look, if you just want the looks, and it does look pretty good from the front and the back, then, you know, it's a pretty decent figurine for its price. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, and hopefully I taught you something new. Alright, I'm out.